Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Terraria. And last episode, we took out the twins, which wasn't that bad. Still tougher than the rest of the hard mode bosses, or the mechanical bosses, in my opinion. And in this episode, we're going to take on Plantera. I have been playing this every day, for a few hours every day, to try to hunt for keys and get some more items. And I got it all in this chest right here that I found that's interesting. And if you look in my uh, piggy bank here, I've been hunting for a lot. I got a bunch more of these goodie bags, got all these accessories and items. Yeah, I've been hunting for hours. It takes a lot to get those keys. But I, I, I'm still, I do not have one key. I got uh, three out of four because uh, the jungle key is very uh, stubborn. I'll farm that here and there off camera but in this chest I got everything and before we look in this chest don't forget to uh, subscribe like and share my uh, my content and I would greatly appreciate that it helps me out and it allows us family to grow the meerkat family and I think that'll be awesome all right now back to it all right let's look in this chest before we go fight uh, Plantera, we got some stuff to do. I got an armor set to build and, you know, get ready for this fight because Plantera can be tough. And I built an arena for it, and uh, it's, it's special arena is how I fight them. All right, here we go. We got a Clinger staff that comes from the uh, the Clingers, I think, in the uh, crunch, uh, corruption underground, and I got. Ice bow. This came from. Uh, let's see. This I think came from the uh, the ice mimic. There's a special blue mimic that that uh, spawns in the ice biome, and he drops that. I got a frozen turtle shell, which puts a shell around the owner when below 50% health, and reduces damage. That comes from the ice turtles in the ice biome. I got a KL cannon. Which shoots out a fist like in old cartoons. This came from the Blood Moon. It came from uh, I'm trying to remember it was a few days ago when I got this. I know it came from the Blue Blood Moon. It comes from one of the enemies from that. Uh, I'm trying to remember which which enemy it was. Man, I can't remember. I'll, t I'll do some research and I'll, and I'll tell you guys tomorrow in the next episode. Got the flower, this uh, flower of frost. This comes from the ice chest uh, mimic in the ice biome. This comes from the mimic in the ice biome. It shoots a, a ice dart. And this, as you think, is like Mario. He uses mana and it shoots like, just like the fire flower from hell. And shadow flame bow. This came from the uh, the corruption. This came from the corruption chest, the uh, special corruption chest. It's bigger, meaner, and faster. But that came from that. I got a band aid, which is a heat bandage, is immunity to bleeding. I got a worm hook that came from the corruption chest, the special corruption chest. And I have two of them. I have one equipped it. I didn't get any new as things here yet. I didn't want to put anything new on until after I showed you guys. I got the bladed glove. This came from the Blood Moon. And it's a rare drop. It came from one of the enemies in there. But it's a very rare drop. I think it came from a zombie. But <laughs> this is how it attacks. It is. <laughs> it's crazy. Very fast, but very short range. And it doesn't do that much damage, so I'm thinking this is pre-hard mode. And I just got it in hard mode. I got a bunch of chlorophyte I farmed. I got 721. I got 25 turtle shells. These turtle shells are kind of rare to drop. But because I spent hours and hours in the jungle trying to get keys, this is how many I've, I've accumulated. I got a bunch of uh, butterfly dust. There's special enemies in the jungle they'll spawn that looks like a butterfly and they got a thousand health and they drop only one of these and rarely 
this is how long I spent in the jungle trying to get key. I got a blindfold. This came from the corruption, underground corruption. It, it just drops. Got a bone sword, and this bone sword came from skeletons underground. But this right here is pre-hard mode. This came from the, the corruption chest, the special big corruption chest, I do believe. Actually, it might come from the clingers. It says, uh, enemies are less likely to target you, 5% increased damage and critical strike chance. And I got the, finally got the Uzi. I got three of them. And I might use one of these Uzis with the, uh, the plant terror fight. I might... I'm gonna see if I can upgrade it with the uh, the goblin first. I got a bloody machete which came from Blood Moon, but this right here is like pre-hard mode. It just throws it out like a boomerang. Kind of slow, not a lot of damage. Getting this early, you know, early in the game would have been nice. And I got some vitamins. And I'm gonna take these out because I know you can actually use them. And in this episode, we're going to build the turtle armor, which is a lot a lot more powerful than the hallowed armor, which is a total of 54 defense plus... Do I got any defense items here? Yeah, three here. So... We're going to take one of these Uzis. Let's start over with the normal one. And here's the three keys I got. I got a frozen key, corruption key, and a hallow key. I'm still missing the jungle key because the jungle is very stubborn. It's like, out of everything I've ever done, hunting these keys is always the hardest one to get to jungle for some reason. Man, we're going to see what we can make out of this bandage. Slash vitamins. And the, the items you've seen in that chest, there's some of those items I've got multiple times and just sold them. And just kept one. Except for like the little fist thing that goes really fast or... Yeah, that was a bezoar. Okay, I got, I had millions of these. As you see, just in the um, the uh, piggy bank, I had a whole bunch. Plus, I sold a bunch because I've been in the jungle way too much. We can go ahead and make that. Let's see what the vitamins mix with. It mixes with the armor polish, so we can make this. Uh, weakness, uh, immunity to weakness to our, and broken armor, which is cool. This one does immunity to poison and bleeding. This is not. This right here turns into the turtle armor. See, this 24, 21 defense on the helmet. This is 24, so you're like, okay. This is 27 defense on the body compared to 15. And this one is 17 defense on the legs compared to 11. So it's a lot stronger. And I got the chlorophyte. Got a lot of chlorophyte. Alright, let's build us some stuff. Actually, we're going to get us a bezoar. Where's all them bezoars? Here's a couple. I know I got a bunch in my uh, piggy bank there, but oh well. Let's go ahead and build. Here we go. Adhesive bandage. Medicated bandage. That's one item. And this goes with the armor polish, which is a hard, mo hard mode item. We'll go ahead and mix that, because later on you want to mix all these things that gives, uh, gives immunity. It makes one big item. There we go. This is melee speed and movement speed. Yay. Alright, let's see. How, what does it take to build? Do I need chlorophyte bars to make said armor? It's been a while since I made this armor. I think it does require chlorophyte. Yeah, it takes chlorophyte bars. Yeah, it only takes three turtle shells to make this armor, by the way. it's I just got so much of it. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of this. 275. Let's start building some stuff. Alright, turtle armor, here we come. Alright, so this costs 12, 24, 18. So helmet, body, and legs. And let's go ahead and switch these out. Let's see, my defense right now is 54. 69. Big jump. And the set bonus is. It says 4% increased melee critical strike chance. Enemies are more likely to target you, of course. Set bonus. Attackers also take full damage. And I'm thinking of enemies more likely to target you. If you're playing solo player or single player, they're already targeting you anyways. So it doesn't really matter. So, 
Let's look at some of this chlorified stuff. I have chlorified partisan, 58 melee, strong knockback, shoots a spore cloud. Chlorified claymore, 89 melee, normal, shoots a powerful orb. Chlorified saber, shoots a spore cloud. Chlorified sh uh, shot bow, 36 range. It's almost the same as an Uzi. So I'm gonna up upgrade that. Very weak knockback, very fast. Chlorified Warhammer, 90 hammer power compared to 80. Chlorified Jackhammer, 90 ha hammer power. Same as this, it's just a Jackhammer. Great Axe, 83 melee, Axe power 115. Axe power 110. A Chainsaw, Chlorified Pickaxe, 200 pickaxe power. 200 pickaxe power. So this doesn't really give you an upgrade. You just get more range. Yeah, just more range. You got the drill, and then you got the chlorified armor, which is weaker than the uh, turtle armor, of course. I always save up to get the turtle armor because I melee always play melee build with slight magic, some range, and I like having the turtle armor. I might build one of these swords, though. Shoots a powerful orb. Might build this one, the claymore looks pretty awesome. Demonic too. 103 melee guys, 103. Compared to 75 as a superior. Oh yeah. We're gonna be using that puppy. I don't I can't remember if it's auto swing. Nope it ain't. It's not an auto swing. The The Excalibur is auto swing. Hmm. Alright, let's put up some of this stuff. Let's put up my armor them in order we're gonna upgrade the Uzi and we're gonna see what we can make with this I think it's the Inca or whatever it's called yeah the ink charm grants me your most debuffs and it's a material and so on so you need this this I got the plan I do not have cat the counter curse mantra because I think one of the parts to this comes from the hard mode jungle or not jungle but uh, the uh, uh, dungeon, if I can say it, and a blindfold. What? Let's go see what we got. I kind of want to build the ink, uh, ink, that thing. What is that? And I got another metal detector too from the ice biome. So I got the the plan. I got this. Got this. I know I'm taking a long time guys. I'm gonna get to that boss fight. Don't worry. I just want I, I want to be prepared All right, we just do a blindfold because the blindfold will tell us immediately what uh, Actually, it won't because it just tells us about the ink What is this the kind of mantra curse silence so I gotta look for the the uh, The lot the horn thing this because this is silence Hey bro, come back here. Yep, the Nazar, immunity to curse. And I think this comes from the dungeon. So this is the only thing I lack to making the ink, which gives you a huge debuff, uh, debuff protection or immunity. So let's put this in the projects chest. Look at all, I got a almost a hundred goodie bags in here guys. So on Halloween, depending on I don't know if it's going to be on Halloween exactly. I don't know what day that falls on. I haven't looked. I hope it's on a day I'm doing Terraria. But I might just make a short video of opening all these up for you guys. Even if it's not on one of my scheduled Terraria days. We're just going to do a special to see what we get. It sounds like a good plan to me. We're just going to throw this stuff back in here for now. And I'll sort that out later. I want to look like the turtle guy. So I'm just going to stay like this. I might take off all this. So I just look all brown. But I'm a turtle. With wings. Alright, Excalibur will go into the project chest because this turns into something else later. Same as the uh, Knight's Edge, it turns into something else later as well. The true Excalibur requires a broken hero sword and broken weapons like this come from the Solar Eclipse. I know I'm wasting too much time. Why does it do that? 
Look at this. For some reason, it does this like I'm gonna constantly open and close. All right, we're gonna put that in here too. And let's upgrade this Uzi. I'm gonna get rid of the banana rings. I don't think they're gonna be useful in this fight. They're not that powerful. So let's put that in here for now. Yeah, I had another pirate invasion. All right, let's do the Uzi and see how much that's gonna cost me. Probably like 15 arms and legs. Yeah, one gold, not bad. Sighted. I think what you need for weapons like this is uh, Unreal. That's your best. 33 range. Unreal. There we go. We just got it. For barely any gold, guys. You guys are lucky. It's a Meerkat family. We are the luck. But we got Unreal. We got Demonic. And of course, I love this yo yo. It's one of my favorites. It's powerful. And I got my Optic Staff, which you guys did not see me build. It shoots out the twins. One's ranged and one is uh, physical and melee. And before we head on to. Oh, Mr. Plant Man. We're going to take all this with it. Well, I don't need the magic one. We're going to place this down near where we're going to fight. Alright, are we ready? I got all my buff potions. Let's go, guys. That's actually one more thing. I know, I know. One more thing. We're going to make sure we got plenty of ammo. So let's go buy some ammo. As you probably saw in here, how much money I've accumulated for farming. Farming is very lucrative. What you got? Nothing? Okay. All right, Mr. Dude, give me some ammo. I'm gonna go for silver bullets. I know we can get better bullets, make our own, like chlorophyte bullets are really good because they home in on the targets. What is this, nurse's stuff, really? Dude, I've never made the, or I, or I haven't made a, a, what's it called, the Mega Shark. I usually don't use the Mega Shark very much. Oh, I'm not saying it's not good or not, I just, just don't use it. Now let's go to the jungle. We got us a fight to do. And first, get the strange plant. Because why not? Yeah, yesterday I said, I guess I was looking forward to doing this boss fight for you guys. I was like, yesterday when I did uh, Borderlands, Borderlands 1, I did a, uh, my intro, I said, Welcome to Tra- Ah, oh, Traria, no, ah. Oh, this ain't Traria, it's Borderlands. Maybe because I was looking forward to this fight. After you do this fight, you get some stuff unlocked. I think the, jug uh, the dungeon gets harder. Not unless that's after the golem fight. And off camera, I think I found the, uh... Yeah, I did, I found the underground jungle dungeon that has the golem in it. Yep, here we are. Good old jungle. I spent hours in this place. As you can see, I built this uh, above ground fighting spot for farming. And I built an underground one as well. So there's a plantera bulb right there. Let's see how far we are from said. Dude, I don't think we're too far from where I'm going to fight her. There's one of the heart fruits. This turtle armor has one downside is that you are slower than you are normally with other armor. So you are slower, but you have a lot more defense. There's another turtle shell. Wow. And this is how I fight Plantera. I'll fight her, lead her up, slowly lead her up, and then she'll come up here and I start fighting her on the way back. And you just keep doing that in a big circle. As you see, it's a big racetrack, if you will. Now, do I have a plantar bulb that is close? That's the question. First of all, we've got to get rid of these dang bees. These guys do a lot of damage. Alright, let's put some of this stuff down. No, we can't because of all the foliage. It's forcing me not to put it down because now I'm going to get my butt kicked because of all these bees. 
All right, let's do these two. Right, give me those. Give me another twins. I have two sets of twins. Yeah, my health is just low because of these dudes. It's just constant. Can't get away from them. Look at my health. It's just destroyed. I don't want to use a potion, but we have one plantar bulb up here that's close. Or somewhat close. Just trying to get this spawn to stop. Well, these enemies. It's the worst. Alright, we're ready. Oh, we are doing it. Let's go get to our arena. Oh, it's coming after me right down there. Plantar, leave me alone. I like the music for the Plantar fight. I like the music in the Crimson too. If you ever uh, done it, just don't get too far from her or she'll wield this spawn. Make sure she stays within the map here. Come on, Plantar, we got a fight to do. Let's re redo this. Let's get out that Uzi. Let's oozy it up. Come on, hurry up. Get over here. Oh man, she's got a lot of health. No, I want you up in the tunnel. Up in the tunnel, please. There we go. She shoots these like spiky balls. They'll bounce around too. You gotta be careful of that. And her claws will hurt you. No things that uh, looks like the. Uh, Ivy Whip. Oh, she's getting hurt though. She is getting hurt. And there's a spike in puzzle I was talking about. They bounce around. They do pretty good amount of damage. Where'd she go? You don't go underground. I'm not underground. You cheat. No clip is not allowed. Let's use the. Uh... Can I throw a ball at her house? She's doing some damage. I want you to come after him. Come on, get out of the ground. You can, you can do it. You can still do it. Yeah, the ball goes through the uh, uh, enemies. Oh, this guy, she does a pretty good amount of damage. Let's use another potion. Stay away from the spiky balls. Let's try to see she constantly shoots at you and they're hard to see and because of that you can constantly get hit because you can't see them very well and there comes a spiky ball coming around and they still hit me anyways look at that they still hit me even though I'm not alright twins you need to do something take the heat from me take the heat come on back Notice the rest of the enemies finally stopped spawning on me. Did she despawn? She better not despawn. Let's put in some clouds. I'll do a little bit extra damage. I'm trying to dodge all these uh, projectiles. It's the worst. I don't know if shooting these little arms do does any damage to the main, but like to take her down this episode she is tough though just to keep that in mind she is not something to trifle with so when you come into this fight you got to be prepared she's getting there this uh uzi's worth it guys so if you could farm this get it for sure because look at that damage it's the thing that's been doing the most damage to her don't send your arm things at me use another potion i still can't i got 50 on yeah, yeah i did I was like, didn't hear it. Usually you can hear the potion drink. She's almost down, guys. She's almost down. 20,000 health left. Aha! Juked ya. Juke. Ha oh, yes. And see, the screams are echoed from the dungeon, as you see down here. And we got, what did we get? Get out of here, turtle. I've, saw, I've killed so many of you guys, I do not care for you no more. Let's take this stuff up before we lose it. I don't want to forget it. Alright, what did we get? We got the temple key. Uh-huh. Some more greater healing potions. Of course. And we got an awkward grenade launcher. Fun, fun. 
Yeah. Awkward grenade launcher. Ha! <laughs> but this right here opens up the golem. And you'll see... Where was it? There's the part of the golem's underground dungeon. I just seen the wall. I think the door's over here somewhere. I just haven't discovered it yet. But we're going to save that for a different episode. Am I going to get a key? Finally? Should we go to the dungeon to wrap up this episode? Just to go check it out. And then when we go check it out, we can open up maybe some of those chests. Sounds like a plan. We're going to keep the uh, key on us. I do not want to lose it. After you use this at the, uh, the dungeon in the jungle, it disappears. It's a one-time use thing. Uh, let's put these back in the arena. We don't want to lose them. And this. I think this thing helped me out for not using ammo. That's, that was awesome. Alright guys. Let's turn in this one plant. Let's go to the dungeon. I kind of want to turn in these keys. A living rainbow die. That sounds cool. But I already had it. That's uh, grenade launcher. Hmm. You had to give me a broken one, didn't it? My luck. Our luck earlier was good with the uh, the Uzi, and then all of a sudden it's like, nope. We're gonna give you junk. Man. The way that stinger. All right, let's go to the junk, uh, the dungeon. First, we gotta grab our keys. We got a frozen key, crimson uh, corruption key, hollow key. Off camera, I'm wanting to farm the jungle one, but I will not open the chest until I'm on camera. That would be kind of dumb of me, wouldn't it? Now, when the uh, dungeon upgrades, it is very difficult. It becomes pretty much hell in there. Those guys do some mass damage. New enemies spawn. There's all kinds of new enemies. But it's a good place to farm. You get a lot of money and... You get a lot of good items, like a sniper rifle, another shotgun, a tactical shotgun. You get the, a new ninja set kind of thing. It's like a suit of armor, I think. No, it isn't. But yeah, you get some awesome stuff out of there. Actually, it is a piece of armor because it comes from uh, Master... Oh, I can't remember his name. Master Gee, maybe? Man, he's really, really fast. It has been a little while since I played this. I know, I've said this many a times. I wanted to basically refresh the game in my mind. That, as in, you know, because I'm not going into this game blind at all. You know, I came, I played this game for many years, and uh, so I didn't play it for a while, so I can try to forget some of this stuff. So when I do play it, I see it's not. It's slightly blind, you know, very, very slightly. I did that on purpose, it's the same as Starbound. I haven't played Starbound in a long time now. For the reason I want to record it for you guys after I beat this game. And after we beat Star Starbound, we might replace it with another game, or we will start Traria modded. Maybe. I remember this, these good old days, finding that enchanted sword that seems like a forever ago now well, here we are back at the dungeon after you take out the golem then the game becomes the moon lord part and then the dungeon has a boss sitting above it or actually not above it but at it let's go find these chests aha the hollow chest what do we get we get the Mystic Rainbow ra Gun. Shoots a rainbow. Oof. I like using this for farming. It's an okay farming gun. And yes, I will collect these chests because why not? But this gun, as you see, the rainbow stays. Yeah. Look, this guy's got so much more health now. Oh. I want the uh, solar eclipse, the solar eclipse to happen again. 
but for some reason it only happened once and it stopped it just won't come back yeah that that's how much damage that one guy did with one hit it's ridiculous so this place is very dangerous of course so when you come to the dungeon after Plantera, you gotta be ready. I might farm Plantera off camera. Farm her some more so I can get some more. She dropped some good items. And I want those items. But I'm gonna do it off camera since I did show it once on camera. And whatever I get, I will save in the chest for you guys to see when we record the next time. See, that's the thing. If I do something off camera, I do not use the item. Not unless it's something that doesn't really... Well, there's there he is. What's his name? Bone Lee. That's his. Bone Lee. Oh, that guy sucks. Even with turtle armor, they do so much damage. You want to drop your wand? No. Of course you want. In uh, off camera, I know I say a lot of that. What I'm going to do is build a farming spot in here. Because it's dangerous. It takes a lot to make a farming spot. Because while you're here, you're getting your butt kicked constantly. And that's why it's good to have this right here. So you can put away your items quickly. Especially money. Because if you're playing on the difficulty I am, you lose money. Oh, jeez, no. Drop your wand next time. Oh, he darkened me and I couldn't see nothing. I was blinded. Blinded by the darkness. Thought about doing something special for Halloween, but don't know though. Just everything's not gonna work out as well. Now yeah, that does a lot of damage, and you have to wait for it to go away. You don't want to be in that hole. Ah, pa, jungle, jungle chest. What is a corruption chest? Never mind. Look at who's wrong. And one of my favorite farming items, right here. Why is because you can just sit there and shoot down. You see those little souls, the eaters? They just chase after all your enemies. And that's why I like using it as a farming item. All these little souls just fly everywhere. And they just attack anything that's new. And that's why I like this item a lot. Now we're just going to go find the ice chest. And then we're going to call that an episode. Before we get our butts kicked in here. There is one guy I like to farm, but he is very dangerous. He looks like a uh, dark nut in uh, the Legend of Zelda series. He's an armored dude with a hammer and a shield, and he slowed me way down. I can barely move. This place is very dangerous, guys. Very dangerous. I can't even move from this spot. I'm being constantly hounded. Like the kids at the bus stop this morning. I was at the uh, bus stop with my kids, waiting for the bus, of course. And uh, kids started playing around, like chasing me everywhere. They were bullying me, man. They weren't. It was just a joke. We were having some fun. Die, dudes. Oh, ghosts. Yes. Get some ectoplasm. Uh -huh. and there's another item I like out of here. You get a uh, light pet that kind of looks like this. Infernal Fork. We got something. We got something on camera. Yeah. But the light pet is really awesome. He's like the one of the best in the game. Oh, Bones Lee. You gonna drop your items? Of course you're not. Oh, my health is destroyed. Where is that ice chest? You know what I'm willing to do to be safe? Because, jeez, dude. Can I not go into map? Does it pause when I'm on the map? Yes, I'm pausing it. It is too dangerous. And no, it's not. Where is that chest? It's going to be brown. They're not gold. Where's the ice chest? Oh, jeez, guys. Oh, jeez. There it is. I am. Where am I? Right here. So I just got to go down. All right, let's turn it off of uh, auto pause. Because that is a bit cheaty, but I have to protect myself, guys. This place is bad. We're going to look at that Eternal Fork in just a moment. When we get our butts out of here. Bone Lee. That's that guy's name. It's like Bruce Lee. And yes, I'm a big fan of Bruce Lee. I haven't seen his movies in a while. I do want to watch those again. If anybody else likes those Kung Fu movies, 
I grew up in a different time, that's why. Whole different time. Alright. Let's go to that frozen chest. It's up this way. This way, this way, this way. Hide, hide, run, run. Go away. Oh, jeez. Spiky ball, protect me. Oh, no, it won't. Uh, glue it all. And we got... Ooh, tally counter. Nice. Uh, man, Manic Staff of Frost Hydra. Ooh, 95 damage. Frost Hydra puts down a thing like this and it shoots at your enemies nearby. It doesn't move, but it does just like... It's basically like a turret. Now you pick up this chest. Oh, he dropped another goodie bag. No, I'm not I'm not going to open up any goodie bags. I said this earlier. I'm going to save them all for one special episode. Now I have some people that is, uh, in my comments have been telling me that they want to play. Uh, right now, will not be able to play. I uh, got a lot on my plate trying to do this in my channel. And I'm a father, of course, so I do a lot with my kids and everything else. And I cook and clean and all that stuff. So, oh, bone feather. All right, let's get on the hair. We opened all the chests, but yeah, we'll not be able to play with other uh, with fans or uh, the Meerkat family for a little while. I might set up a date with everybody, uh, like a special date where we can do uh, start a new world and um, you know do like a fan play or you know play with some fans or whatever, which sounds good, but not at the moment. It'll be in the future. All right, bone feather. Uh, before we end the episode, I want to check out what the bone feather is. I know it's going to be wings, but it might be pretty good. Yep, bone wings takes twenty and a bone feather. I wonder if this is better than the uh, bat wing. We still got the tempo key. We'll be doing that at some point in the future. The frost hydra. This is my favorite. The scourge staff. This thing, I love this thing. See those little eaters. If there's enemies nearby, they chase after enemies and you just fire infinitely because it takes no mana. This, I love this weapon for farming, so I will be off camera farming with this thing, trying to get the jungle key. And it's going to help greatly. And the infernal fork. And that's what it does if it hits a surface or an enemy. And it stays there for a moment and does massive damage. It's the same thing the wizards were shooting at me. And yes, if you stand in that fire, it does massive damage. And rainbow. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. This is a good farming item, too, because if you have an enemy, like, say, if you're in a tunnel, right? Shoot this like this. The enemy's walking down the tunnel, and they constantly get hit as they stay in this rainbow. So this, this could be a good farming item as well. So the enemy can start here and just start walking in here. And blam, blam, blam. Like this bunny. No, don't do it. Oh. I tried to warn him. Maybe I was a little too late. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end that here, and we'll be uh, doing another episode tomorrow. I'll do some farming off screen, and I will put everything in this chest for you guys so you can see what I found. And hopefully that jungle key. Cross your fingers, guys. Let's hope for that jungle key. And I'll see you guys later. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share please I will be very I'll be very very grateful and it will help me and my family out and I'll see you guys later bye bye